If your Windows 11 PC suddenly refuses to boot, most people assume a full reinstall is the only option. But Microsoft has quietly added a new feature that can help fix serious startup issues automatically. It's called Quick Machine Recovery, and in this video, I'll show you what it is, how it works, and why it could save you hours of frustration. Let's get into it. Quick Machine Recovery is a new Windows 11 recovery feature designed to fix critical boot and startup problems. If you've ever turned on your computer and got stuck in that boot loop and then Windows goes into that startup repair, doesn't actually ever fix anything, well, this is basically an upgrade or a build onto the Windows startup repair. Historically, when it enters startup repair, it's attempting to find corrupted boot files, Windows system files, but the problem is it's performing the repair with files on that local system, and if those files are damaged or corrupted, it's attempting to do a startup repair with corrupted data. So that's why nine times out of 10, it doesn't work. And we're all guilty of that. Even as a professional, if someone brings me a computer, I'm not gonna sit here and say, I've never just said, let's just wipe it out and reload Windows, cause that's always much easier than actually identifying the root cause of the problem and fixing it. But with quick machine recovery, instead of forcing you to manually troubleshoot or reinstall Windows, it allows Microsoft Microsoft to push targeted recovery fixes directly to your PC through that Windows recovery environment. This means Windows can repair itself even when it won't start normally. So how it works, when Windows 11 detects repeated boot failures, it can automatically launch into this recovery mode. Microsoft checks for known issues, and then a recovery fix is downloaded and applied automatically. And these fixes can address things like bad updates, corrupted system files, and startup configuration problems. Pretty much all of the things that the old startup repair tool attempted to do, but failed most of the time. And the best part, your personal files stay intact. You can find this feature under settings, system, and recovery. We'll check that out real quick. Real quick, I wanna share some exciting news about the channel. Now that the channel's just over a year old, I've decided to take it to that next level and enable channel memberships. Now, of course, you can subscribe and it's completely free. And I hope that you do. But in addition to that, if you want to help support the channel, you can become a channel member for less than a cup of Starbucks. With that, you'll get priority responses to your comments because as the channel gets bigger, it's gotten to the point to where I can't respond to every comment. You'll also get other perks along the way like members only content, early access to videos, and direct access to me through email. So if you have some questions or problems or need some consulting, you can access me directly through email as a paid member. I will also continue to add more perks. So please consider becoming a member, but if not, that's okay, but make sure you subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel really helps me grow the channel and get me to that goal of 50,000 subscribers. Thank you, and let's get back to the video. All right, so we wanna go into our settings. Under settings, we're gonna to go to system. Under system, we're going to go to recovery right here. Under recovery, you can see down here where it has quick machine recovery. If you do not have this option here for quick machine recovery, Make sure that you're on Windows 11 24H2 build 26100.4700 or later. If not, head back over here first to Windows Update and check to make sure you're up to date. Go ahead and run your updates and make sure that you have the latest. Then come back and you should see that option there. All right, now I'm going to head back over here to System, back to Recovery. And now I'll go to Quick Machine Recovery. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. By default, this was turned off. So Quick Machine Recovery, I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And then I'm going to tell it if I'm going to allow it to just check for the solution once or do it in intervals. So I'm going to turn on Automatic Solutions, but I'm going to leave the interval at once. So what happens when we do that? Let's pull that up real quick. So here's the process. So your device crashes when the device fails to boot. Repeatedly, the system automatically detects the issue and initiates the recovery process. Then, this device boots into the recovery environment to initiate the quick machine recovery process. 
After a network connection is established, the device scans Windows Update for remediations. If no solution is found and the system is configured with the default one-time scan setting, like mine is, the user will be guided to other recovery options. If no solution is found and the system is configured with retry scanning intervals, the system retries the process based on the configured retry scanning intervals and times out. If a solution is found, the system downloads and applies it. Reboot after a remediation is applied, the device reboots. If the solution is successful, the device boots into Windows. If the solution fails, the device reboots into the recovery environment again and the process repeats from step two. Here's a little diagram. I'll blow that up. All right, so there is a test environment. I did trigger the test. I'll show you that here. It really wasn't much to see since I didn't have any issues, but it basically just came up and said it was diagnosing my PC. And then after a couple of minutes, it just booted right into Windows because it didn't find any problems. But I'll show you that here real quick too. If you want to run that test yourself, the information's right here. There's just a couple of commands you run from an elevated command prompt. So run as administrator. All right, we'll check that out real quick. So here I've triggered the test and I'm just going to reboot this laptop and it should go into the test mode. It's restarting. I'll skip ahead a little. And there's really not a lot to see here. Comes up to the HP logo, says please wait. And it's in test mode, diagnosing my PC. Does this for a minute or so and then just boots on into Windows because it didn't diagnose any problems. The very next crash I have, I'll make sure I record it and I'll post an update video. Really not much to see here. I'll just show you that it goes right back into Windows. And then it booted back into Windows, no issue. Quick Machine Recovery is one of those features you hope you never need, but you'll be glad it's there when things go wrong. If you're running Windows 11, make sure you know where this setting is and keep your system updated. What are your thoughts? Drop me a comment below. Also, drop me a comment below on any future video suggestions you may have. Do me a favor, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel really helps me grow the channel and get me to that goal of 50,000 subscribers. You can also take it to the next level of support and become a member and get access to me directly. Don't forget to check out these other videos. And as always, thank you for watching and until next time.